Hey guys, my name is Z and you're watching Z Miss Easy. And welcome to a new video for Design Technology Timbers where today we have a core content of 1.8 Metal Theory. And by the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe 1.8.1 ferrous metals, 1.8.2 non-ferrous metals, and 1.8.3 which includes properties and these stuff. So we'll check out the pain comment for all the timestamps. And we'll move on now to 1.8.1 ferrous metals. And ferrous metals are metals that contain iron and are magnetic, and they are prone to rusting except for stainless steel and this type of iron. And the metals include mild steel which are used for bike frames, car body panels and fixings. And it's an alloy that is grey and smooth and, it's, and it rusts if it's not protected. And I made a video about alloy in my IGCSE chemistry metal extraction video and I'll link it down below in the description for more like detailed explanation for alloy. For the working properties of mild steel, it's ductile and it's tough, it's easy to form, it breathes and well, and it's versatile. And the composition includes iron plus around 0.1 to 0.3% of carbon. And stainless steel, they are used for kitchenware like all this stuff. And it's corrosion resistant, tough and resist wear. And working properties include it's difficult to cut. And it's an alloy as well and it contains all of these elements. Which includes carbon steel, chromium, nickel and manganese. And cast iron, they are used for wood and metal working devices, manhole covers, pans, gates, and machine bases like pillar drill. And properties include it's dull grey and it rusts easily. And working properties include it's brittle if it's, if it's like thin, and it can be cast into a mold. And the composition includes iron and carbon, just like mouse steel. And then we have non-ferrous metals for 1.8.2. And non-ferrous metals are, are metals that do not contain iron and are not magnetic, and they do not rust. And aluminium, uh, it's a metal and is used for drink cans, kitchen utensils, and some parts in transport. Properties include it's light grey with a matte finish, and it's lightweight but strong and ductile. So ductile just means that the element or that metal can be stripped into wires easily. And composition is pure metal because aluminium is uh, an element in the periodic table. And copper is used for plumbing parts and electrical cable. And it's rose colored polish as well, but can oxidize to a green color over here. And for working properties, it's a good electrical conductor and can be polished and welded easily. And composition is a pure metal as well because it's an element on the periodic table for copper. And brass is used for musical instruments like trumpet and a good choice for plumbing fittings. And properties yellow finish created by mixing copper and zinc together. And for the working properties, it's corrosion resistant, a good heat and electrical conductor, and it casts well. And brass is an alloy which includes 65% copper and 35% zinc. Then lastly, we have 1.8.3 properties. We have ductility, malleability, and hardness. And ductility is the ability of a material to be formed by bending, twisting, or stretching, and the ability to be drawn out, is drawn out without breaking and ductility in metals increases with temperature. And malleability is like how malleable it is, and it's the ability of a material to be permanently deformed in all directions without fracture, and it increases with temperature. And hardness, it basically means the ability of a material to resist deformation, indentation and penetration. Hard materials can resist abrasion, drilling, impact, uh, scratching, and wear and tear. So that's it for the short video of 1.8 Metal Theory for Design Technology Core Content. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this and please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions or criticisms. And check out my Instagram in the description for more daily content. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe and peace.